at the LCS Championship in Newark. Check out LawEsports.com for more information. And remember, Wednesdays are the wrong days after this week. We will not mm -hmm. be on Wednesdays no Being more. Deleted. Then he's stopping EG from coming in to reinforce their own jungler. He wants Pioshik to Jayden's at least get something round, out of this though. steal. But Pioshik just gets jumped on. Now Shaden's coming around from the side. Nice flash from Pioshik into the twisted advance. It's first blood for Unforgiven, but Team Liquid's going to trade one back. Far. Team Liquid has started up the Herald for themselves. APA is going to make the rotation over, as is summit and eg i don't think there's any contest JoJo's happening coming. here jojo's really late, late to the yeah. party though everybody's already caught the uber home so tl can just walk this one out i would believe however jojo's ready to go in with a stolen nature's grab the real one fired off back by pioshik as he grabs the kill on jojo but team liquid is about to stop him from even getting anything back at all revenge trying to put some damage into apa as pioshik gets away and shaden's gonna chase him down but it's a two for one plus the objective for team liquid that duo to make sure that you're not messing those up in the grenade for an engage now halo over the wall with magnet storm finds apa but pioshik dropping his ulti trying to disengage as eg switches aggro back over to the enemy jungler but ayla's gonna be blown up by the rocket jump jojo escapes off to the side but now Shaden's got to be careful. APA continuing to pour those auto attacks into the enemy jungler. Summit's ready to catch him. Heartbreaker back over the wall, but Shaden is in the wrong jungle. Summit Liquid with control over the river right now, but EG are looking for a way they might be able to approach. Jojo with the Everfrost root on a Pioshik. Shaden right next to him. Jojo stealing away that Maokai ulti, and now they're ready to chase after these guys with the Nature's Grasp, only finding the enemy Maokai, but Pioshik is not tanky. He'll die to Shaden, and that's Team Liquid losing their jungler. EG should be able to secure the Drake off of this. Yeah, this time in the game right now yeah. he's a good 700 gold ahead of second place uh oh jojo this is a real bad spot to be that Malkai ulti catches him here at the very end and the team liquid guns are blazing as jojo eg trying to take harold back on the other side but tl is moving over here and they're kind of first to the play ayla is looking for this deep flank though and the tp's coming in from jojo ayla with a three-man magnet storm eg needs to follow up but they're gonna find yawn immediately also core jj also Ooh. Yoshik, it's one, two, three, line them up, knock them down. Evil geniuses. With a Gonna be sitting back. Topside Summit versus Revenge. Both ultis get popped as Summit tries to kite away, letting the Dominus build up the fury, but Unforgiven jumps in with a killer instinct and lets Revenge take the kill. That's exact. Gets caught on the Maokai ulti, but he's so far past his own tier two turret that Team Liquid can't get any backup damage onto him. Nice stun. Magnet Storm there from Ayla as Jojo can't burst down APA in time and as Pioshik swooping in to clean up the kill. Now Team Liquid's got to get all the way out. Revenge is coming around from the side, trying to collapse on these guys in time. Yoshik will die for what I believe is the sixth time this game. Arrow flies through. Not going to get much out of that one. Yoshik still running and running and running and running. He nope, get, Shaden's not going to catch him. It's time for Malkai's wild journey. Somebody play the well, Yak Unforgiven is coming, so I think he's probably going to die. Back in a 1,000 gold lead, but now Summit has overstayed his welcome here on the top side. JoJo stealing away the Dominus. Pops it in response to Summit using the real one as he tries to drain tank through these guys. Abscond abducted. Goodbye, Mr. Croc. Shaden goes on a rampage. The Drake goes over to Team Liquid in the meantime. Yep, gonna be able to get that back. So at least EG fighting back, getting something on the, so on the top side. You know, as much as, as JoJo was kind of criticized in spring for being that guy that got picked up in side lanes, that has been the reputation around Summit for almost his entire career. So yep. EG trying to pick on him as well. And now with that pick, they're straight here onto the Baron. Look at Ayla's spot. He's looking for the deep flank. He avoided that blue trinket. So TL may just walk in and get roasted by this flank. Yawn and APR are stacked, and this could be the perfect angle. The Baron's already down to about 1,500. They're going to secure it, and now Pioshik's here on the front line. Shaded may be bursted. they got to be careful about that. Ayla coming around from the side as Unforgiven goes in with a killer instinct, and APA will be killed. They've already found two. Core JJ's the focus for Revenge. He's trying to get him with the helicopter. Yawn gets locked down, but Revenge has to get back out. Summit's made his teleport into the mix, and EG needs to disengage. Summit has captured up by the Jax. As Yawn, it could be really problematic. TL trying to hold this space in the river as Jojo was trying to force his way in, and now the Jax is going to TP. It's a very deep flank here from Revenge, and I think TL are going to have to take this fight. There's the arrow coming out, stolen from Jojo Pune. Ayla ready to follow up with a two-man Magnet Storm, and Core JJ's already down. APA having to flash away back over the ramp, but now they got to be careful because Unforgiven's into the back with a killer instinct, and they found Yawn too. Team Liquid is collapsing under the might of evil geniuses. Jojo chases Pioshik away as Summit was too late to the party to change the outcome. Revenge is ready to jump over the wall and follow him all the way. One more lead strike should do it there's the helicopter 
And EG can do this Baron fast. They've already got it down to about below 5,000. Summit's gonna get caught out here. Ayla stuns him up with a shattering strike into the crash down. Summit's dead before the fight can ever even start. Team Liquid have already lost a man. Ayla still has Magnet Storm ready to go. APA's been found. Tristan is dead. There's no hope left for Team Liquid. They gotta try to get everybody out and lose as few men as possible. But most of them's already dead. There's the Void Seeker. Ayla finally drops the ulti. Pioshik's running into the enemy jungle. But that tree's about to get chopped. I don't know if he's going on a magical trip around the world this time, Azale. He's just gonna get beat to death with that stick while evil geniuses go back into the Baron pit. They're gonna get a clean ace for nothing. <laughs> Revenge is just spamming some animations on him. Delaying the death actually ends up being a benefit as well because it's less time that Team Liquid <laughs> has all five back on the map. Evil geniuses, massive play. Cool death cap. It's four completed items to two on the Renekton. So Jojo is ridiculously fed. He roamed often, he roamed early. The early ones did not really work out, but he just said, well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. They just kept looking for these fights, and now they caught APA. APA had to try to buffer out of that one. Azela goes in with a magnet storm, but he's a little bit too far ahead of the rest of the team now. Yawn gets the kill. Enemy support down. Team Liquid is a jungle. Like, that's about it. They got this ward here to potentially look for some sort of a play, but I don't think it's really going to happen. And EG, Solar Maokai Elf is going to push you back. That should guarantee the inhib and maybe much more. Yeah, the Everfrost locks down Pioshik. They're going to burst him before he can even do anything about it. JoJo is dominant as evil geniuses continue their push. Shaden's into the back line, and then they pop Summit next. APA Rocket jumps away to barely survive as Yawn and Core JJ try to fire back, but Shaden escapes. The abduct from JoJo won't find a target. Team Liquid's gotta be careful. The Silas cooldowns are insane. Shaden finds the kill on Core, and Yawn and APA are back into the fountain. <laughs> JoJo goes too hard, too far. He drops to APA. He Two games back of where Cloud9 is, but obviously could potentially still catch up. Jojo looking for that deep flank. He's coming through blue. Jojo's got the stolen ulti. Buster shot at APA. Ayla. He first through it. Ayla coming around from the side, trying to lock these guys down, and Summit's already killed. Unforgiven with the burst damage as Ayla pops the Magnet Storm, and Pioshik's gonna be going next. Revenge lands the chopper right on top of Team Liquid, and he won't stop now. Yon can't get him back. It's only Core JJ against the world, and you can't swag walk away from this one. Jojo and Unforgiven pop him. EG's gonna drop him, and TL can't stop him. It's another dub for the geniuses as they'll take out Team Liquid in 34 minutes. What a fight there from EG. The ace coming through for EG. They're gonna clean this one up. Such a scrappy game and a really impressive performance after falling back pretty early in this game. Awesome team fighting, awesome.